Hello OCSB educators. This is a quick screencastify to show you how to create an assignment in Zorbits for your learners. If you come over here, once you're on your teacher dashboard in Zorbits, come over here to the far left hand side in the menu, you select the assignments tab. This will redirect you to the assignments portion where you can create an assignment by simply coming up here and selecting the Create New Assignment tab. Once here, you have the option to name it. You actually have to name it. It's mandatory. I think we will focus on measurement. Grade 3. And we're going to choose Red Moon 2R because that is the measurement planet. Click Next. Here is where you get to select the concepts you will choose to focus on for that strand. You can choose up to 10. There is a drop down menu here. There is more down here, but I think for today, I'm only going to focus on these four tasks. I can see over here the approximate length of time that it could or should take my learners to complete those measurement tasks. I will click next. Here is where you select the learners that you will have working on this assignment. You can select the entire class by clicking up here and it will select everyone. However, I'm noticing that I have one individual in my classroom that seems to be struggling with this concept. So I think I will unselect this student and go back and create a grade two task, parallel task for using the grade two curriculum. So this is a great tool for differentiating for your learners. I will click next here. This is where it will prompt me to choose a start date and an end date. You have some options that are already done or you can just come over here, click the calendar and customize it. On your own, you click finish and there you have it. We have created an assignment for our class Right now, it does not show up as view progress because nobody has begun the assignment yet. Once your learners have begun working on the assignments, you can go in and you can view their progress and see how they're doing and it tells you about their performance. So it's a great way to focus on a targeted focus for a specific strand or some specific tasks. I hope this was helpful. If you have any more questions, please feel free to contact your math learning partner. We would be more than happy to help you with this. Thank you.